Hello everyone. Welcome to another interesting learning time with Miss Deborah. In today's video, we're going to learn the concept of multiplication. Now, what is multiplication? When you add a number together repeatedly or a number of times, it means multiplication. This is why sometimes it is called times. Now, pause the video and have a go at this question. How many words or phrases can you think of to go with this symbol? I know we all are familiar with this symbol, but we have different names for this symbol when it comes to multiplication. It is sometimes called times. It is sometimes called lots of. Sometimes you hear people call it sets of. It is sometimes called multiply. And also we call it groups of. Well done. What can you see here? Here on the screen we have three groups of a pair of slippers. One, two, and three. Three groups of a pair of slippers. And each pair contains two slippers. Now, what is the right multiplication sentence for this image? We can call it three equal groups of two. We can also call it three lots of two. We have different names for this image. Three sets of two. We can also call it three times two. And we have a more familiar name for it. 3 multiply 2. Now let's start with multiplication by 0. Here on the screen we have 0 times 3. Now ask yourself what this means. It means 3 groups of nothing. In total it means 0 or nothing. Here we have 3 empty groups. 1, 2, and 3. And in each group, we have nothing. So it means 3 empty groups of nothing. Now what if we have 0 times 5? It still remains nothing. 5 groups of nothing. Over here, we have 5 empty groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Five empty groups of nothing. Here our answer remains zero. If zero is multiplied by any number, the answer is always zero. We also know that we can move numbers around. Here we have three times zero and five times zero. And it doesn't change the answer. So it doesn't matter where your zero is placed in your multiplication. Your answer remains zero. Now let's practice multiplication by one. Here on the screen we have two times one. First, think about what this means. It means that we will have one group of two items. Now what do we use for our group? Over here we have a pair of shoes and in a pair of shoes we have two shoes. Remember a pair of shoes contains two shoes. So how many items do you think we have in total? A pair of shoes contains two shoes. So in total we have the number two. Two times one equals two. Now, what is 3 times 1? 3! Bravo! I think you've understood the idea. 3 times 1 equals 3. Any number multiplied by 1 is the same. What if we change the order of the numbers? Does it change the answer? No, it remains the same. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 5 equals 5. 
and 1 times 3 equals 3. What if we have 1 times a million? 1 times a million remains a million. Any number multiplied by 1 is the same. The numbers in a multiplication problem have special names. The numbers we multiply are called factors. And the answers are called products. Now you can remember this quite easily because you go to stores to buy products, right? And where are the products often made? Factory! Bravo! In the factory. And that sounds like factors. Now let's practice the multiplication tricks that we've learned. Any number multiplied by zero is zero. One times zero equals zero. Two times zero equals zero. Six times zero equals zero. Now what about multiplication by one? Any number multiplied by 1 stays the same. 1 times 2 equals 2. 5 times 1 equals 5. 8 times 1 equals 8. Now let's practice multiplication by 2. Here we have 2 times 2. Now we can use pictorials or any image to represent the numbers. Here we have two equal groups of two. Here we have two equal groups of two. Two plus two. On this part we have two. And here we have two. Two equal groups of two. Now adding repeatedly we have the number four. Two plus two equals four. Remember, multiplication means adding a number repeatedly or a number of times. Now, 2 times 2 equals 4. Here we have another multiplication sentence. 3 times 2. 3 times 2. Now, we can use images or pictorials to represent our numbers. And here we have three groups of two. The pictorials or the images represent the number three. Three groups, one, two, and three. And in each group, we have two cubes, one and two. The two cubes in each group represents the number two. Three times two, three equal groups of two. Now we have to use additions to add the numbers repeatedly. Here we have 2 plus 2 plus 2. Remember, multiplication is when you add a number together repeatedly. 2 plus 2 plus 2. Now when you add the numbers, we have a total of 6. Now, 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, pause the video and have a go at this question. I believe you will get your answers correctly. Welcome back. Here we have a multiplication sentence. 4 times 2. 4 times 2. Did you use images to represent your numbers? Let's get on it. Here we have four equal groups of two. Four equal groups of two. In each group, we have two flowers, one and two. And we have a total of four groups. Now, when we add the numbers repeatedly, we should have two plus two plus 2 plus 2. We have 4 equal groups of 2. The number 2 represents the two flowers we have in each group. And the total number of 2's we have are 4 in number, which represents the 4 equal groups. 
Now, what is a total when we add repeatedly? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. And 4 times 2 equals 8. I believe you all got your answers correctly. Bravo, guys. And here we have another multiplication sentence. 3 times 4. Just like we've practiced previously, we are going to use images to represent the numbers. And here we have 3 equal groups of 4. 3 equal groups of 4. And in each group, we have 4 circles. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The four circles in each group represents the number four, and the three equal groups represents the number three. Now, adding repeatedly, what will be our numbers? We should have four plus four plus four. And what is the total of these numbers? The total of the numbers is 12. 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. And 3 times 4 equals 12. And here we have our tags for the day. 2 times 0, 3 times 5, 2 times 6, 1 times 2, 5 times 1, and 8 times 3. Do not forget the multiplication tricks that we practice. You can also use pictorials or images to represent your numbers. I believe you all get your answers correctly. Welcome back. I believe you all got your answers right. And so we've come to the end of our lesson for today. I will see you all in our next video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Bye!